What was it that you claimed you saw at the scene? <clears throat> I, I saw a corpse. Uh, sometime in the morning, after I'd gone out to, get, uh, to film my daily quote of logs. Where was the exact location? About 150 meters off the Sage Road. There is a uh, secluded grove of uh, maples. Uh, that's where I saw the body. He had a green party uniform, and the blood had dried and the body was attracting gadflies. Was there a sword in the body, or any sort of weapon? No, nothing of the sort. Uh, there was a rope and a comb lying on the ground. Um, it looked like there's been some sort of fight. Was a horse nearby? Uh, yes, just off the stage room. What time was it when you spotted the man? It was around the noon of yesterday when I saw him. He was riding horseback, with the woman sitting behind him. He was carrying a knife, along with a gun. Who knew he would have such a fate lying dead ahead? Who was it that you've arrested? He seemed to be the notorious brigand known as Bayon. I found him groaning after he fell off his horse at a bridge. What time had it been? It was late in the evening. He was wearing a dark blue shirt and it was dark outside. I tried to arrest him, but he escaped. He had a pistol on his body, he must have gotten that from somewhere. The pistol belonged to the deceased. Was there a horse nearby? Yes sir, the horse is, as you say, I found it grazing by the roadside. Anything else? Don't forget that out of all the bandits around Chengdu, this Beiyang has given the most grief to the townspeople. If this criminal murdered the man, who knows what he could have done with his wife. Can you confirm the identity of this corpse, sir? Uh, yes, the corpse is that of my son-in-law. He was a foreigner coming from the town of Anshun to the province of Guizhou. His name was Chan Taiwen, and he was uh, 26 years old. He was a kind soul, so I'm sure he never hurt anybody. What about your granddaughter? My daughter? Her name is Ma Guo, and her age is 19. She is spirited, fun-loving girl. But I am sure she has never known a man except Taiwan. You know, you know what you need to know already. Could you just please find her? What have you got to say, outlaw? I killed the man, but not her. Torture me if you want, but that's the truth. So then, what happened? It was yesterday around noon. It was especially windy then, which explains how I saw her face under that veil. At that moment, I made up my mind to capture her even if I had to kill her man. Why? Why? <laughs> what, am I the only one who kills people? You kill people with your power, with your words. Sometimes you kill them on the pretext of killing for the greater good. Hypocrites, <laughs> you and your party. <laughs> Enough, outlaw. We'll count the rest. I fooled the man into thinking that there was a trove of treasure nearby. Knock him down while he was unaware and tied him to a tree. I got his girl and you know what happened after. What happened after that? Wait. I cannot live two people knowing of my dishonor. Go. Oh. Whichever one of you lives. So.
Recount your collection of events. Okay. Okay. After forcing me to yield, he gloated to my helpless husband. I, I tried to run to his side only to be knocked down. And in that moment I saw a change in my husband's eyes. Something either sorrow or anger is just beyond description. A cool light, a look of loathing. I fell unconscious. What happened after that? I went after I can no longer live with you. I must die. But so must you. You saw my shame. I cannot leave you alive as you are. Give me your life and I will follow you right away. You said you followed him, yet here you are. Here I am. I didn't even have the strength to die. I, I stabbed my own throat. I threw myself into a pond. I tried to kill myself in so many ways. With this as I am, I can't even end my own life. I must have been forsaken even by the most graceful blind. I killed my own husband. I was dishonored by a robber. What can I do? Get on with it, dead man. Recount what happened. I recall, after he'd violated my wife, he began to speak comforting words to her. Hey, come with me. Your man won't want you. Your virtue's stain? Might as well, huh? Come on. Come with you. Yeah. marry you while he still lives. Why? What do you want me to do with her? Just give me a nod and I'll kill her. I hesitated. Hey! Oh, well, I better get running. All was silent after that. I heard someone crying. Someone is crying. Who is that? Lying there, I was enveloped in deep silence. Then, someone crept to me. I tried to see who it is, but the darkness has already been gathering around me. Someone, that someone, drew the small sword softly out of my breast in its invisible hand. At the same time, more blood flowed out of my mouth. And once, for all, I sank down into the darkness.